Hi everybody, welcome back. I'm Dorothy, I'm a professional astrologer, and you can find me on the web at nhastrologer.com, and there you can read this forecast. So today I'm going to talk about the eclipse on October 23rd. It's a new moon eclipse, and I'm going to give you the brief information, the basic information about that eclipse um, in the beginning of this video, and the other part of this video, hopefully it will flow smoothlessly, it will be about each of the zodiac signs, so you'll get a little more personal information, so you'll be able to read or hear about your sun sign and or your rising sign, okay? So, if you don't know what your rising sign is, just give me a quick email with your birth date, time, and place, and I will tell you what your rising sign is and I will tell you where this eclipse is located in your chart so you'll know which video to watch which is best for you always watch your sun sign but you want to watch the one that's about your rising sign as well so that's just a little bit of education for you all right new moon eclipse October 23rd at 5 57 p.m. on the east coast of the United States it's at zero degrees of Scorpio we also have Venus at zero degrees of Scorpio at the same time now if you're a, if you're a person who's also been watching that mercury retrograde you know I'm recording this as mercury is stationary so you see how many takes it's been six takes just for this intro and it's like okay here we go Scorpio's at two degrees I mean mercury's at two degrees of Scorpio Scorpio as a planet that's stationary moving retrograde so wow that was an astrological mouthful right okay what does all that mean here we go take some notes new moon in Scorpio is all about transformation transformation through mastery that's how we honor Scorpio transformation through mastery we have to transform something we have to allow the shift and change in our energy fields in our bodies in our head wherever it is for you we must allow this transformation to happen we cannot fight change so transformation through mastery meaning allowing it to happen allowing it to be what it is now some of the other things that we look at with this new moon in Scorpio is what's going on with it right so we have that Venus there at zero degrees of Scorpio just like the Sun and moon are so everybody's lined up I mean we're only lined up you know physically with the Sun and the moon but Venus is also at that part of the zodiac it's just a little higher and so what do we get with this energy is we get a lot of focus in on our relationships Venus in Scorpio is very obsessive, but it's also devotion. So what side of the coin are you going to look at? I'm holding some coins from a friend of mine, and um, they were handmade for her in, in her memorial So uh, to Katrina, but um, she's passed on. And so, you know, that's kind of the uh, an analogy that I get with this information, with the new moon all about creating new things, and that Scorpio is all about change and transformation two sides of the same coin so you've got we've got to allow things to leave and shift and change before the new things will come in so what departments is all of this going to happen on well mainly because of the scorpionic energy that this is mainly what it comes down to is all about its sex it's our soulmate relationships again mastery of transformation it's all that Scorpio eighth house Pluto energy all right so we need these changes to happen even financial partnerships comes up with this because Venus is there love sex and I already mentioned the sex part <laughs> that's because of Venus and Scorpio Scorpio rules sex Venus is love all right and even power struggles that mean we might be having with somebody else all of these things are things that we should be focusing on and you know usually it's just in front of us whether I you recognize it or not but it is what is going on around us and if you feel you need to use this energy then I recommend you do it eclipses are powerful new moons and full moons this one's the new moon they are very very powerful because we're in perfect alignment with them on the physical plane so that will help us to shift into what it is we need to shift into all right Scorpio is a water sign so emotions are involved the moon in Scorpio eh, not the best place for the moon but because we become overly emotional all right maybe dramatic all of these things are the things that are happening around all of us so use this full moon sorry use this new moon eclipse to your advantage 
and to the best of your ability by allowing the transformation to happen and allowing and, and setting some goals for yourself. All right, go to my website and read all the details there too. So next, I'm going to talk about each zodiac sign. So hang on. Okay, Pisces, this is for you. If you're a Pisces or have Pisces rising, then this eclipse, this solar eclipse at zero degrees of Scorpio is in your ninth house. Now, what is that ninth house about? It's about expanding my awareness, right? Your awareness, my awareness, our awareness. It's naturally Sagittarius's area, but it's all about that metaphysical um, expansion of awareness. For some people, it is about higher education. That is a form of higher education. And for some people, it is college. That might be a focus for some of you. Something is shifting and changing as far as going back to school, getting to school, paying for school. Something like that is shifting. But I also feel it as it's, it's more of a, a higher vibration. So it's more of a metaphysical thing. And metaphysical means that you're looking more towards some spirituality, you know, learning something that's more spiritual as opposed to religious. All right? And so with Scorpio in that area of your chart already, because if you were born with Pisces rising, that means that the ninth house already has Scorpio in it. So you're already accustomed to this. So you want to dig deep. You want to learn about spirituality. You might want to learn something f more. And so with this eclipse here, it is encouraging you to do that. So again, transformation through self-mastery is very very important for you especially Pisces and those with Pisces rising because this is also you're also a water sign like this Scorpio moon is all right which means you get you that emotional attachment find that emotional attachment so you can become passionate about what it is you want to learn and then the little key word I haven't mentioned yet is what it is that you want to teach and share with the world there's some new opportunities here for you to learn some new things and to also share that with others, whether it's a formal teaching position or just through your everyday living. All right. That is the beginning and the start of what this eclipse can do for you. So keep an eye out for that over the next two to three months. All right. I want to thank you for watching. Please come find me on the web at nhastrologer.com. You can make comments here as well. I do read all of them and I respond to as well, especially to the nice ones. If you're mean, I'm not responding. All right, thank you very much for watching. <sighs> Blessed be, and namaste.